Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Optic Podcast, episode 55. What a joyous day it is, and boys, <laughs> where we at, cuh, as they say? Where are we at, cuh? Check. Before we get to where we're at, let me ask you a question. Do you think that if tomorrow, yeah, let's just say something, let's just say something non-lethal or bad happened to every single caster in Call of Duty? Let's just say they couldn't leave their house because it was it, it was flooded, flooding, flooded, it was flooding outside. Yeah. Okay. And somebody had to whatever. Yeah. And they called you. Would you solo cast? Would you solo all of Anaheim? All of Anaheim? <laughs> and could you still do it? Okay. I could one hundred percent still cast Cod. Better than anybody in the oh! world, <laughs> except for Fuiz. God, I, 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 and Bryce, so much. Okay, guys, are well, we good now? Benson. Yeah, sorry, I, you really you are acting it. weird today. <laughs> you know what it is. And, and, and I am. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest here. This is, this is like a, a true confessional. Yesterday, well, on Tuesday, I had a very, very exciting meeting uh, at the Cowboy Club. That <laughs> he had to plug it. He, <laughs> he had to plug it. Looked in that, the camera. I have a Jerry's whiskey. <laughs> Jerry's, uh, Jerry's old-fashioned. Pr- from Private Select, the pit <laughs> master. It doesn't matter. That one meeting turned into a legit, like, party, okay? I'm t- I have to leave my car there. That's how... Le- Tuesday, you said? Tuesday night, okay? Okay. So all day yesterday... Yeah, I was here. <laughs> <laughs> Just how we played it was so good. I'm sorry. Like, Tuesday. Tuesday uh, okay. Anyway, right, so, so all, day, all day yesterday, I was not myself. I was, I was in bed, mm-hmm. incapacitated. I felt like trash. Yeah. I, I, I got to the point where I was almost going to cancel going to E3 and all the parties that are there because I know that it was going to be this feeling that I was having yesterday over and over and over carrying into Anaheim. And that's, I why, just, that's why I have to fly back. Like I, 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 need, I need to have a couple productive days between them because I know E3 is just going to be one big fiesta because I'm yeah. literally just going for the... We're doing some stuff with uh, DX Racer, but then also literally going to enjoy... Party Royale, like I'm not casting, I'm playing it, I'm just, yeah. just going to have fun. Yeah. And then Anaheim, obviously, as you said, right after, which is, I mean, it's not like we play in it. Yeah. We would just have fun at that. I thought you were well. going to play in Anaheim. Were you supposed to? Originally, originally that was the plans, uh, and then I moved down here and haven't purchased a PS4 yet. <laughs> I haven't turned on a PS4 since January. I, I turned on a PS4 when I was setting up Scumpy's setup. I turned out two PS4s actually. It doesn't matter, but so you, you do think that you could cast like your ass oh, off? Oh, I, I mean, if, if you told me right now you, they, they wanted me to cast Grand Finals, I would be like, oh, not only will I do it, I'll, I'll not go into it and be like, oh, I'm nervous, I'm gonna mess up. Any tips for, for this up and comer? Yeah, I'm an up and coming caster. I know, yeah, we my, talked about it earlier. Yeah. But I, my casting is a little different. I think so, to give you guys a, a, a little background on why I said that, Hitch has been throwing these Fortnite tournaments. Um, and they, like, week by week, because of the creativity that goes into the tournament, it's not just your traditional, which, which it's fine, obviously, no, there's nothing wrong to do this one thing because there's no regulations or anything for the Fortnite as an eSport, but yeah. what are you doing? You well, can explain it better than yeah, I can. Yeah, every time, because I've thrown tournaments, we've thrown tournaments, like, every time I do a tournament, it's always something a little bit different because, obviously, all of the main tournaments have been... Uh, it's um, the equivalent of wearing, like, Nike with Adidas. Yeah. Don't just don't do that though. It's the same thing. If you look, and I, I said that to him because he's wearing Nike Adidas. shorts with with uh, with Adidas. Yeah. And he said, I'm, I'm I can I can wear it. I'm literally wearing. It. If you if you guys are in the in the chat, look look at yourself and say ask yourself, would you ever perpetrate? I don't perpetrate, know why you guys are talking about the socks. Would you perpetrate? Well, I'll be honest. I mean. I'm sorry to get you off talking about the topic, but I mean I'm kind of just used to that. I, you know. I couldn't even I couldn't even wear non Adidas socks and put them into these yays. Yeah, but you're old. I think I think you. It's like, a '90s thing. You he's think? Got, you know what it is? He's got the time to buy the, the true, right true. pair and stuff like that. Yeah. He doesn't really. You're do not much. like a grinder. Yeah, you just don't get this lifestyle. But go ahead, Davis. Sorry. <laughs> All right, go on with your Fortnite tournament, please. <laughs> so, so like whenever I threw Call of Duty tournaments, my my uh, my big staple in throwing a Call of Duty tournament, I guess, is the uh, bot tournament. The bot so tournament. it's a, the three, 3v3, and then each team has a, a bot as their fourth player. Jack did pretty well. He got first rounded in that tournament. Um, so uh, He was the bot. Yeah. 
you knew that was the laugh that was coming next. If you, if, if you laughed and gave him enough validation, that was the one that was coming next. I'm going to laugh regardless. I know what I deliver is. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really good. <laughs> right. So then uh, for, the, for, for Fortnite, I saw that people started running Fortnite tournaments. Uh, I saw obviously Keemstar. Uh, I saw Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx created this cool, this cool uh, like format where it's like 1v1v1. And then one person moves on, and then so it's like a three stacked bracket. It's really weird. And he's been doing that on PS4, so I was like, I should probably do that on, on PC because nobody's doing that on PC. So I ran one of those, and then I liked like the goofy format. So then I was like, for the next one, we should do something like a cross platform tournament. A PC player plays with a PS4 player. And then for the next one, I was like, let's do co ed. And oh my God. That's today. That's the, that's the tournament today. Um, there, it blew up. Like, uh, cause all these girls, there's a ton of girls that play Fortnite. Yeah. Um, and obviously they just look for part, for teammates and who's gonna say no to a girl, you know? Um, so then they hit up like the, their friends that are big name Fortnite players and the That's, Fortnite players came over. And your best just, play was when you said girls have to, the girls have to be the one to send over who their partner yeah, is. Yeah, because yeah. you were just getting, Davis was getting DMs from people being like, yeah, th this girl's my partner. Meanwhile, like they don't even like follow each other. Yeah, no, people were just adding. I got like nine Pokemane ads. They were like, <laughs> Me and Pokemane are playing, and I'm like, no, you're not. Like, That's not a thing. and I didn't like think that through prior. So then, like, then like, I must have gotten like 50 follows from like the biggest girls in in gaming, and I'm sitting here like. Okay. Follow back, follow back, follow back. <laughs> Sam's like. I felt like I was single again. <laughs> <laughs> All so, this stuff's outside just to run a Fortnite dirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so, so then, yeah, so then one by one, um, Electra, because I'm, I'm friends with uh, Electra and she's like kind of blowing up right now um, in, in Fortnite. So I thought she was going to play with like one of her friends, like Sprat or Pomage or Dirty. But then she hit me up and was like, I think Tifu and I are playing. And at that point, I was like, oh, shit. Like, it's that kind of tournament. So then I raised it up to 64 teams. And one by one, like, Tifu, Myth, CD in the third. Courage. Uh, <clears throat> Kitty Plays is playing in it. Yeah. Um, Who's she playing with? I don't know. It's random game. Got I think it. She, I think she did, like, a follow. Like, she, like, was like, I'll, I'll choose one if this gets 10K retweets. Wait, is she playing with Jack? <laughs> oh. We got that dub on the way. She's by far the most elite. Is she? We practiced yesterday. She's elite. I saw. Oh, she is really, really good. I saw Hutch and, and Midnight teamed up, which I thought was awesome. Yeah. Uh, I I accidentally, not accidentally, I I joined their Discord yesterday as they were playing, and and I heard the you know, Midnight say, "Oh, she, you know, I lost, or she she got killed," and he, and I was like, "No, it's all right, it's all right." And then he gets killed. He's like, "Oh," he's like, "Anyway, that's gonna be my last one," and I'm like, "Ooh." <laughs> He he's really mad at you. I've played with him for so long that he's he's really and he's like he's like no um, um, no 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 no. And then midnight midnight's like no no no. He said that he was gonna get off before this. And I'm just like seeing both of them like stutter to explain that what what I said. You're the worst. You are the worst. You're a terrible, You're a terrible, You're a terrible person. person. It was so good. It, when Fuss isn't there to instigate, I have to you pick have to up the slack, it. man. Anyway, so what are the bigger names that are, that are on there? I mean, I guess they're all big. Is is Mer who's Nick Merck's playing with? Uh, he's not playing in it. Oh, um, so not not all big names. Not all big not, names. Not Ninja's playing with. You imagine? <laughs> no, Ninja's not in it. No, no, of course not. Um, so, but Myth is playing in it. Uh, Tifu, CDN, you, um, High Distortion. High Distortion is playing with Chica Live, and Chica Live is probably the best girl player. So that team is going to be insane. And then um, Cloaksy's playing in it. Uh, Nick A is playing in it. Like there's like, gosh, there's a lot of big names. In Good. It, so it's, it's and nice. then and so then now I wonder if I should do co-ed every time. No, I was I was just thinking that I'm like, when when's the next time you? I think because I, I think I next time do... I think next time you should do you should do two back to back co-eds, and then from there go to the you know keep it keep it keep yeah. it like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, do a co-ed where one is PC and one is you know you can mix it up. Yeah. I mean look, you you've done a great job though. Let my genius creativity step in the way of your creativity. Yeah. And, regular. And, and because of all the the like clout, yeah. pull, you know, uh, momentum behind the tournament, um, you know, I was able to to find a a tournament organizer 
uh, website to like host the tournament. Yeah. So then they chipped in for the prize pool, and I was like, oh man, we made it a thousand dollars, and it's been four hundred dollars the last two tournaments. Yeah. And then Turtle Beach hit me up, and they said, hey, we want to be involved, and so now the the prize pool is five thousand dollars. So. Jesus. Turtle, yeah, Turtle Beach really came through. I'm super super excited Se to see. That second goes. biggest tourney uh, tourney of the week. Yeah. That's dope. Like, so we, we talked about the other day, like just three of, weeks in. Yeah. And now it's just. Second you, you have an idea, you put hard work into it, you have some good connections, and yeah. next thing you know, you got a great, great thing like this. It's going to be fun. Five, so it's $6,000, 6000 dollars tournament. No, so 5000 5, 5, in total. 5000 in total. Put it in the website, put in 1000 Plus yeah. the Turtle Beach, 4000 So oh, one four. plus four is five. No, I just, he said five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I just, but was, the, it's, we helped yeah. him. Yeah, we we helped him. No, I, knew, I know what five plus one it's is. It's like the well, hearing thing. It's like, yeah, it's just like that. Once you get up there. It's just anyway, so what do you what do you what is next? I was gonna ask you like what is the next goofy format? I think you. Mm. Um, I have a, I have a, an idea for a four v four. Let me pitch it to you, okay. Same as your bot tournament, but you use a pub star. What? So, on the next segment, we will disclose what he's gonna do next week. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Jack's week. He's teaming with uh, Ninja. Are you are you nervous? <laughs> I literally just replied to attach. I'm more nervous for this than I was when I took my SATs. Like when in high school when you preach that everything is for your SATs. Okay, so explain. So in in, in, in Keemstars. So right now, as of you watching this, I played with Ninja last week. I probably have now been banished from the country. I've been disowned by Optic. Uh, I forgot this. People is no longer. Wait, what happened? Oh, as you're watching this. Yeah, because it's this yeah, comes yeah, out yeah, yeah. next week. So I'm at a point right now where, um, yeah, Ninja and I discussed last week, meaning not the Friday before your watch this, but the week before that, about us playing um, in the Friday Fortnite, the $20,000 Friday Fortnite tournament. Um, we're confirmed, we're locked in, we're going to be playing it. Uh, I think what he really kind of pushed him to want to play this one with me was the communication that I use. Like not keep... that his teammates not playing this week. No. Okay, no, we switch teammates often. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, come on, man. Uh, <laughs> but we played together. We played together a couple times last yeah. week, and our communication was just on point. We won like over, I think it was like over 50% of our duo squads games we played. Uh, and he just really liked that there was never really a time where he didn't know who was pushing him if I needed help or not. Because I, I learned that all from TP. That's one, that's Teep's and I biggest strength. I think that's why we're able to play yeah. so aggressive. Because you need to be aggressive in those. You need to always be moving. Yeah. Question. Yes. So you're just gonna throw TP to the side so you can play with him more. TP TP's not around for these weeks. No, I'm kidding, joking. Oh, obviously he's. No, please don't say and, that. No, 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 no. Of course he's not. He's at not. CWL stuff. So yeah, you um, know, you know, last it was two weekends ago when it was it was uh, Ninja and King Richard, I think yeah. it was, where he went on that on that LMG spree. LMG spree, bro. I've never, and and I mean this, and I've and I've been in esports for over a decade. Okay. I have never been that excited to see what, bro, to, to come that close and to be that clutch yeah. in those moments. It was one of the single most exciting <laughs> pieces, plays of esports yeah. and I, of competition. It we is, won't call it esports. It's crazy, just in Fortnite, in Fortnite Friday, I felt that three times. Once, once when, uh, when Ninja went on that crazy 23 bomb, once when <clears throat> it was, uh, the first time Nick Merckx and uh, Ninja played each other, yeah. Nick Merckx stole, I think, like f like 15 kills from um, from King Richard, and they almost like clutched it up. It was insane. And then when Jack played the TSM squad, yeah. Neil lost by one. That yeah. I actually, I actually, like, the way you played it off when that happened, you were like, ah, oh, GG's. But I was sitting there like, Heartbroken. Yeah. I was sitting there like, oh my, because that would have been his first round, right? Yeah, and that's that's what I'm, I just know this week, like me now being with Ninja immediately puts us up against two pros. So I just and the thing is, the great format, the thing about this this tournament, the format, is that I I know I can beat anyone. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Because yeah. of just how it is, you got to get luck on your side, stuff like yeah. that. But man, I want to start off by beating the two pros and not losing to the two pros yeah. to start. You yeah. Know? Um, and and so far my matches versus pros, we've either. Narrowly, we've either beat them decently or I've narrowly lost. It's not even like me gassing it up. Like, yeah. just the, t the, the, the Tifu and Cloaksy match, TP and I, we, like, to, to prove how much we could play with them, TP and I ended game one with 22. They ended with 20. It was a 42 kill squads game. We literally wiped 
near half the lobby as our that team of four. Crazy. And we literally matched them like the whole way through. The next game, the only reason why we died is because I got a kill on someone and I need to play now with the streamer mode on this week. I got a kill on someone and they saw my name in the kill feed, Courage JD, because we run a two minute delay. And this enemy team suicided to kill me in retail row. Like, they were getting shot at by ARs, and I only had an SMG with no ammo. They sprinted at me, one of them getting knocked. The other two reached me, because I, I didn't had no build. It was, I, I looted one house. They killed me, killed me, and then danced in my body, and then just died after they didn't even care. That's, wow. why, I, that's why I got killed. And I, literally, it was the point where I, I, TP and I were both sprinting away, and TP went that way, and I went this way, and they just chased me down, all three of them. And literally, that's Jeez. how. So TP had to play one v two in the second game, and we lost by one kill because TP would have died in the storm. Man. That was that video where the guys yeah. all became bots, dude. I'm still so tilted about that. <clears throat> still to this day. So I literally lost by one kill to Hamlin's and Daquan and TP and Cloxy. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. I'm excited to see what happens today because I, I do think that there's like a, a massive, massive gap in in people not. Um, and, and you know this is the the the, the girl esports thing like that needs to be a thing like the fact that it isn't has been this long that hasn't there hasn't been anything regulated to to do something like that um, you know again but they they're the ones that are you know the masters of their own destiny so if they if they ask for it like imagine how many people would jump at the opportunity to support an all I mean, girl league I think if there was any and I, and I I think that's what's kind of like uh, being like recognized now with this co-ed tournament is there's so many girls that play yeah. And, the, and especially with, what is it, Ladies' Night, the Fortnite thing that they get Twitch is on like their Ladies' Night Fortnite yeah. thing, and they've yeah. filled like two full lobbies of like... Girl gamers? Prominent streamers and yeah. gamers. Yeah. And That's so dope. You know, uh, the, other, the other team that I'm excited to see play is, is uh, Holly and Damon. Because, I'm gonna tell you why, okay? And I, and I understand why you wouldn't play with Sam. One, you're hosting it, mm -hmm. and because you just don't ever compete with your, you know. Yeah, no. It, imagine it, that house yeah. when they get first Bro, round. Uh, no, imagine it. It's, it's, it's a thing, though, because it, like I, I think about times when me and the old men of Optic have been like that mad at each other. I couldn't imagine living with, no, with, no. with, with my teammate, you know, as, as these guys, as, as Nate shot Crim6, uh, Big Timer, and, and, you know, or whatever did in, in 6050. Or how, you know what I'm saying? Like imagine losing and then having tournaments. You yeah, share no, a room. I, I couldn't imagine. Dude, even Blake, I, Blake and George, my best friends for ten plus years, we lost that mono for two throwback, and I was like, I, I, I go, can't guys. imagine. I can't imagine walking backwards and like seeing them in the next room. Yeah. Because it would just we would just look at each other and it would be like, dude, you know what? It's literally like any of the many times we've been at a tournament and like the boys had just lost. And you'd be out back, like ready to film vision. Like imagine, imagine like that. Like for Damon, like we should have just pushed through rocks. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you imagine him doing that with Holly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Bella's like, mommy. Like, imagine oh, like that kind of serious uh, conversation. The, the 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 new litter of dogs are just like. Oh. Uh, and Damon's like, Gosh. Damon's got 37 kills and oh. shit. <laughs> 37. So well, did you see yesterday's he so post? Yeah, like 20, uh, 27. 21. 21. Yeah. Yeah. Was it 21? Yeah. yeah, yeah. 27 kills total. That's the thing is that it could anything could happen. Like one time. We dropped into a lobby, me, Blake, and George. They both play on console. And George and I died. And we were just like, all right, Blake, like, just, you can play it out, though. And he ended up winning the game with 23 kills. And that happened one time ever. And just imagine if that happened in a tournament. Like, anything could happen. And there's been, you know, 99% of the time, you know, we die, and then it's just like one person plays it out, they might get a kill or two kills, and then they die, and then they die we restart. But it could happen. What's that's it called? RNG? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's the thing that I love about these things is like, man, like I, I, I showed him a clip of, uh, from Ninja and I playing yesterday. I played off stream, but like I clutched a ridiculous 1v3 where I had no materials left. Like that thrill is still there. Like yeah. Ninja, who's got 2,000 plus wins, like literally jumped up out of his chair. It's like, let's go for that win because it was so improbable. Yeah. I had a game when, I, when the 10 year old army was formed this week and we, when we, when we played a game, they all had zero kills. And I finished with 21. And to hear them freaking out, and then the chat freaking out, even yeah. after all the time, yeah. 500 plus hours now yeah. on Fortnite, yeah. Yeah. it's still. That's why BRs, man. They're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're not just BRs. This specific game. Well, no, BRs in general, in my opinion, this one's de like Fortnite will always is be definitely the best. You can ride a rocket that your friend shot, bro. You should be. You, can you do cannot beat. 
What? Did you, you do the shopping carts? What? Did you get, so let's say you're like in the store and you're realizing like, oh my gosh, I need to speed up. Yeah. You have a shopping cart, you can hop into the basket and shoot your rocket and the rocket propulsion will, will give you a speed boost to get you to the storm quicker. So now like, that's like a thing that people are doing. Like if you're in a flat area, you get in your cart, you start launching rockets and like, air, you travel so fast to get to safety. People were telling me that in my chat, but I thought they were trolling me. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> now like a Tifu, for example, showed that if you put a bounce pad right next to a jump pad, you use the bounce pad, it gives you the crack rock effect. Yeah. And because you have the crack rock effect, you can launch so much higher and get so much more airtime. So now instead of having like, let's build and then launch, you can literally just be like, bounce pad launch and like in a panic scenario, now it's so much easier to like make plays like that. See, you're saying launch pad build and I, my brain's like, <laughs> you're trying it'll to even... take me 10 minutes to set <laughs> that thing up, bro. I gotta scroll to press right. I'm yeah. just if you're using a scroll wheel in any online game, you're doing something wrong. I used it all through my Minecraft career, and I did just fine, sir. Your Minecraft, Minecraft is <laughs> really intense, actually. Nothing better when that when that when, when those zombies are walking at you. No, okay, okay, yeah, you're saying that. <laughs> at but, walking okay, pace with no I, actual I, range. I threat. challenge you, yeah. okay, to a one thousand dollar game of TNT Run. TNT Run is dope. But you were using a mm, scroll wheel. For what? Well, no, I wasn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't see it here, yeah, it's but uh, Minecraft is, is exciting. From his... Minecraft <laughs> is exciting. This is. I can see it now. He's like about to go like attack a a a, a, br a, br a brick, and he's on his like shovel. So he goes to scroll to his pickaxe, but he over scrolls <laughs> to his sword. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yes. He pulls just... out the sword. Oh shit! Scroll just... up. There's the pickaxe. The little, uh, the little yes. yes. <laughs> I can see him like over scrolling. <laughs> Oh my god! I just saw bro. myself doing it. <laughs> you, like, you were like, oh, I did that. I did do that. I remember exactly when it happened. Um, I think uh, just so we can move on, I think that you should do a, um, a family affair type of thing. Uh, where obviously, like last week, it was me and my brother. My brother yeah, plays yeah. on the PlayStation and that. But I think that you should do that, like at a, in, a, in a deeper level. It just happened to be like Pro prove your relation to it, so, someone else. Yeah, I'm his brother. <laughs> me and uh, me and Myth. Yeah, he's my he's my younger brother. Uh, <laughs> no, you and Methods. Ooh, actually, because you look like him. Yeah, that's true. Did you see Mexican Jack? I did. I did. Gabriel Iglesias. Yeah, Gabriel Iglesias. That's, that's, my, fraternity people. that's my fraternity nickname. Fluffy. They named me after. Fluffy. Him. Yeah. So to to, to I, I tweeted out a picture of uh, of Gabriel Iglesias, Fluffy, the comedian, uh, and my brother's like, Yo, doesn't this look like Jack? And I look, I'm like, Holy, a little bit. So I tweeted out. <laughs> Jack, if he would have gone to Wheeling High School, the high school that I went to, is a lot of Mexicans. Uh, and then I said, hashtag Mexican Jack. The amount of people, okay? I, I literally said, if Jack would have gone to my yeah. high school, the amount of people on Twitter that were like, nah, bro, that's Gabriel Iglesias. That, <laughs> that, I, I, I read that, and immediately I'm like, okay, I guess I'll play along. No, that's Jack. <laughs> And over like Dude. five times, I had to argue with people. And, and at that point, I was just playing the role. Yeah. If they want to argue against us, like, okay, I guess we're doing this. So I'm like, no, that's Jack, 100%. Yeah. Dude, he is becoming me on Twitter. Have you seen it lately? What, just replying to just, annoying stuff? Just like, you've started like trolling people. And like, I've never seen it before. The thing is this, I've, got, I've gotten... That's how I know you just like, you don't even care. You're just like, I'm just going to... I'm just gonna do whatever. He's sitting by his bro. pool in the West Wing. <laughs> Actually, which which wing would it be in? <laughs> the which pool? Yeah, which pool? Sorry, not the one with the Astro Turf okay. near it. Uh, anyway, my bad. I it, it's not that. It's just that I've gotten to the point that I feel as though I have been charged, and I have been commanded to fix stupidity on the internet. Okay, <laughs> so anytime anybody says something dumb, I feel like it is my job to correct <laughs> these idiots from saying the things that they are saying. That's how I feel. People always say, people always say, like, oh, Hitch, like, even, even now, I think it's ever since you brought it up, like, oh, Hitch just does that just to piss you guys off. Yeah. And like a part of that is true, but the biggest, I would never go like in some, like a deep, like actual controversial issue. Like, yeah. I would never like, where, where, where both sides like have merit. It's like, if you, if, if, if the, if you get so upset that I say LeBron James is the best of all time, yeah. that it ruins your day. Yeah. I need that to ruin your day so that hopefully you come to the you realization where you're like, this is, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Like, whoever, to, you know yeah. what I mean? I used to be that way with like, I used to, like, I, I, I used to 
loved the Yankees so much, like when they would lose, I'd be like, man, my whole day's ruined now. It's like I got to a point where I, I like was like, wait, what? Why do I even yeah, care that much? Yeah, yeah. Wait, um, really? I've that's... never, I've never been like the only time I've been like that is with with optic and early nature shot optic, you yeah. know, because so much was on the line back then that you know we needed. Anyway, but I, I like today, right? Like some guy, I. I I said, oh, it was yesterday when I when I replied to to Karma's 22 kills. I'm like, I was like, damn, 22 kills. Some dude's like, you don't get to talk, you don't get to talk about my man's like that after what you did to him. I was like, you freaking loser. <laughs> oh, you are I'm a lock loser. Button. Like, I'm just a lock button guy. Oh, dude, I, I couldn't believe. It. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, shut up, you loser. You don't know us. Like, yeah. you know, why, like, you know, I. Like, oh, I'm just a. The thing that I've been so like frustrated with it and it's only been a few people but like there's people that literally will, will be like wow it's weird you play like, like someone will just see a clip of, of like what connor will say in the, the clip in the stream and louis be like wow you are kind of a pedo and i'm like oh, Whoa, yeah. are you yeah. like what are you even saying like what do you, i i just it's, i didn't give them i just instantly just block i'm just like yeah you've actually got to be kidding me yeah, that be, yeah. like i guess it's just like like I feel like that's like just like it falls under the same thing as just like saying cringe on the internet. Like how people just say cringe. Like yeah. that's also one of my least favorite things. It's like okay, bro. Like yeah, I mean if you if you ever say cringe to somebody that's obviously doing something where they have to over exaggerate themselves, yeah. then it's like you just don't get it, and you'll never be yeah. successful until you change your mindset. And that's how I no, but I, I, I in cases like that, I almost want them to just be losers for the rest of their <laughs> fucking lives. You know what I'm saying? So like don't don't change. Be like this. So when you're 45, yeah, and then you look around, you're like, gosh, I'm a fucking loser. That's my that's like that's exactly how I think of those people. It's like, man, and we talk about it. We've talked about this a bunch of times. But like, you will reach a point in your life where something will just occur. You'll be at a, it even just it didn't even be anything crazy. You could reach a point where you see something, or you are out in a lake, and there's nothing else in your thoughts, and you just kind of sit there for a second, and you're like by yourself, with, and you're just like, you think of a moment, and you're like, man, I really was, like the people that used to hack on like Xbox 360, and like boot people offline, yeah. Yeah. People that did, or people that do that. They find like all the joy in it now, whatever. But the, the, they will 100% reach a point in their life where they look back and they go, was I actually hitting people's internet offline to stop them from playing a video game when they just want to enjoy it. Yeah. They, that, that will come in time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's just the truth. No, well, that it'll be, I don't know, these same people are going to be like 35, 36, and they're going to be like... In their cell. In, in, like, in, no, not in their cell. They're going to be in... in they're going to be in... in the, the, they may have regular jobs, right? And they're going to be sitting there and they're, like, they're going to come to that realization as they're about to kick somebody offline for the 1,000th <laughs> time, <laughs> 10 year in a row, be like, wow, I'm a loser. Packet sent. Packet sent. <laughs> IP flooded. I IP imagine. Flooded. Like I'm, I can't even. I can't even imagine doing that. No, I, I can't. I can't. I, I I can't imagine how like it, it, it just like I can tweet the mo and I say Twitter because that's where or I say tweet because that's where like a, a lot of like the the data comes from. from yeah. Negative people, but it just seems like anything that you can tweet, it could be the most positive. It could be. You know, I, I woke up today and it just seems like a great day. And somebody will be like, "I hope your day sucks." And you're just like, "What is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> like, what what happened? What? Ha or or you can tweet like like, oh, scump just went off.' And then somebody will be like, "But he'll never be as good as Clayster." And you're just like, "I wasn't talking about Clayster. Yeah. I was talking about how good scump did in this one particular scenario." And it's just like I don't, I don't. I feel like some people see things and they're just, they just either think the two things I don't understand is how can I make this negative and how can I make this about myself. And the the second one pisses me off. What pisses me off is that well, not anymore because I'm, I'm I've taken upon myself to be the evangelist of of the cle of the cleansing yeah. that is stupidity off of Twitter uh, <laughs> in gaming. Um, but what what drives me not crazy but makes me think is when people go up to me at an event and like, yo, man, unblock me, man. I was just kidding. I'm like, no, you fucking weren't. Because I only block people for three reasons. Three reasons. Racism, racism homophobia, and just plain stupidity, yeah. OK? Yeah. Period. And I have a very strict rule. I'll mute somebody, but not block them, except for those three reasons. And when somebody says, unblock me, I'll be like, ooh, I wish I knew which one it was. Because if you were the one to call me that, you know, beaner. Yeah. See, here's the best thing. Is <laughs> when, people do that, when people do that to me on Twitch, yeah. I like add an extension where you can see all the chat log history forever mm -hmm. that everyone, anyone's ever sent. So someone will donate, or someone will, one of my mods will reach out, 
someone will somehow get in contact and be like, hey, can you unblock me? Uh, can you, um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I said something dumb. Or I, 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 I just asked for this one thing once. And then like, I'll go, I'll literally on the stream live, check their logs and be like, no, you said I'm the not unblocking you. You literally spammed this 48 times. Like, it, or they're just... <laughs> Because you have all their brutal. logs. Oh, so like that is brutal. There was like come a, out all the time. There was there's a story I forgot who it was, but it was like an old like a like a YouTuber like like ten years ago or something like that. That what she, how she got big. I forgot who it was. You guys might know who it is. She would go to people that would that would call her like these crazy names and say that they were gonna do all these crazy things to her. And it was when Google first formed with YouTube. So everyone's YouTube like was a Google account. Yeah. Google and so Plus. they she would yeah Google Plus. She would click on their YouTube, and, and, and people didn't know this yet. She would click on their YouTube, and then it would go to their Google, like, information. And yeah. she could find their names. She would go to their Facebook and, mess, and, like, take a screenshot of what they said and send it to that child's mom and said, this is what, I just want you to know that this is what your child, like, sent me. And the response that she would get back was just... Like awesome, like unbelievable. Like I can't. I don't know why he's doing this. I like you know, like stuff like that. Doesn't That's that so make good. you happy? Yeah. Like, yes, it makes me happy. Yes, Hector's yes. <laughs> like I'm going to subscribe now. No, I'm, I'm just. I don't know. I just think that people should be look. In in I'm I'm an, I'm old and I always talk about this. In during my high school, the internet wasn't like what it is today. Yeah. So if you said something, you were accountable for it. Okay, yeah. which means that if you said something that you should have known. You're, something's going to happen, and at the time, you know, violence was an acceptable means of solution in, the, in those times. So, yeah. it, 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 I and, wish it was still that. Like well, that. And, yeah, but it comes to a level of accountability that, that you, as a human being, should know that you're that you deserve to get your ass beat for being yeah. a racist, a homophobe, or just a plain asshole yeah, to somebody. Dick. You know, uh, there's this one. Uh, I'm not going to name names, but there's this one. This one occasion where. A, an esports player got in the face of somebody else, and then this somebody else like pushed him away by grabbing him by the neck and said, you know, get away from me, or something, something along those lines. And people were fucking outraged that the guy that, whose space was invaded, pushing him out of the, pushing him out of the way. Mind blown that people were taking the side of the, of the, of the invader of the space yeah. and expected somebody to just take it. Yeah. You know, like, you don't oh, do that's that. My, that's my other thing that triggers triggers me so much and and there it's it's obviously a, a a fine line between the two but i watched reddit public freak out if you've never watched reddit public freak out it's just a place you can go and watch people freak out in public some of them are fights some of them are just people going crazy some of them are people yeah. reddit what reddit public freak out okay r slash public freak out and so one of the top choices from this one of the top posts from this week was literally like it was just outside a bar all these drunk people um and actually it started to trend on twitter too it's this dude filming it yeah. this cameraman he's like yeah, it's the one, it's the one black. Yes. Yeah. So, this woman is literally throwing haymakers. Yeah. Like and like you, you it's a typical like the guy like knowing you no, never do, but like literally like this dude is getting like, like clocked a couple times, <laughs> and and all I hear in the background is you better not hit her. You better. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this. I'm doing one of these like. <laughs> Yeah, I have your belt, belt on. That's completely <laughs> secure. But every fight video I've seen starts with this. <laughs> so I'm doing that, bro. And I'm. Oh, yeah. If it gets to that point, you. I don't care who you are. You're getting close to. You, you, if yeah. you're starting to get close to really draw blood like that, like she, like I'm not. It wasn't like this. Like a. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. Was that actually like was a bow. Yeah, yeah, but this dude was like he and he pushed her out of the way. And unfortunately for him, yeah. she fell headfirst into a dumpster. Oh, yeah, so, Oh, dude. <laughs> so, so, so he literally went like this. He went like that and like pushed her out of the way. And she literally went like this, like falls over. A mad trash can right here went like this. <laughs> and then everybody's like, whoa. And, like this, whoa. and next thing you know, like 17 other guys who weren't involved, just, it's a bro. It just turns into a full brawl. <laughs> Because you can't. Have you ever seen the "You going to jail now" you, video? Oh, that video that's is what, so good. You going what, to jail? That, that sounded every, like the the punch. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> every single time I see a guy that's finally just had enough and just like they've gotten their ass kicked by a girl, and then they just like take one swing. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? All I think yeah. of is "You going to jail now." Dude, like, that yes. that uppercut rung through the internet. <laughs> you going to jail? Nah, and nobody. <laughs> like I don't think. Like maybe some people were. Was like, it the one uh, on the bus? The yeah. bus. Yeah. She literally falls out of the bus from the punch. Yeah. It like knocks her out of the bus. And I wonder. <laughs> he literally uppercut. <laughs> I just love that he but gets she up. Spit in his face. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's another one. Draw, that's another draw. one. Yeah. Like, 
That's a, that's I a think no, she like, no. hit him, hit him, and then she spit in his face. And then he said, you're going to jail. Dude. <laughs> Why did he say that? I just, I just you're going to jail now. No, he, he said, you're going to hell now. No, I think it's, you go, you're going no. to jail no, now. No, it's, you're going to hell now, and she, and he sent her to hell. <laughs> Wait, no, but, yeah, really? that's this what it is. This whole time I thought it was jail. No, I, I hell. This whole time. No, 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 no. Hole. He's like, you're going to hell now. And he, what, what, he, what he invoked there was, was the righteousness of religion. <laughs> Oh. That this woman is possessed, and I'm gonna send her to hell. Mother, you go to hell now. <laughs> Boom! I just love that he says it like he says it once, he says it twice, and then the third woman he lands a punch. He goes, "You go to hell," and the punch hits, and then you hear the word "now" after it's happened. <laughs> like it's like he timed it to hit on now. It was so I good. I remember all of this at the scuff house, which was like, oh, oh bro. <laughs> I actually remember, yeah, I do. I, I was on a bus, I think, going into MLG, and I was like, damn, if that happened on my bus, this would be crazy. Yeah. The, the, in the my thing, internship. This brings me to another, it's not non related, okay? Non related. But I feel the same way and the same, same, same sort of passion and arguing when there's bullfighting going on, and then there's like this, this, this newsletter breaks out that, you know, this guy got mauled by a. You know, he got impaled by by a horn, and I'm like, hell yeah, Team Bull, or hashtag yeah. Team Bull. And people <laughs> outraged, like, how dare you? He's got a family. The bull has not, doesn't understand that this is for entertainment, yeah. that his death is to entertain humans. You know, the, the barbarity that these people, no. Mexicans and Spaniards have, is b beyond belief, bro. You can okay. say that because it's friendly fire. Yeah, no, yeah, friendly fire on purpose, though, okay? <laughs> uh, it wasn't like I accidentally shot my own kind. They're literal, like, morons, right? Like, think about it. And, and, and for me to say, hell yeah, Team Bull, like, he got one. Think about this. As a human, you're, you're more well-equipped to handle any situation because you understand and you can problem solve. A bull is a f bull, okay? We don't yeah. know how smart they are, okay? So you just imagine walking in, right? And then somebody's, like, punching you. You're like, what the fuck? I'm... I'm I'm walking here. Why are you punching me? Yeah. Now imagine being stabbed or being goaded to like do like it was. It, but the amount of people that defend the human yeah. on my timeline is like it's one of the outrageous. wildest. That's, shit. that's yeah. that, I think maybe I'm getting a little bit into a touchy subject, but that's my feeling with like uh, like hunting of like certain types of animals. Like okay, yeah. I get yeah, I get certain of types course. of hunting, hundred yeah. percent. But when I like when I see people like defend people that are like hunting a giraffe yeah. or an elephant, it's like no, okay. Like, uh, yeah. Hunt, they're like, but it's a sport. I'm like, yeah, well, typically a sport, <laughs> both players know they're playing. Yeah. It's yeah. like, it's like, it's like doing this, okay? I'm gonna grab this five year old. Yeah. I'm gonna put boxing gloves on him. Yeah. I'm gonna put boxing gloves on. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of him. for three rounds. It's a sport. Yeah. Why are you mad at me? It's Absolutely. a sport. I, I totally get the thrill <laughs> behind it and everything. But, bro, when I'm seeing pictures of people with like a, a giraffes and stuff, I'm like, that dude, or like lions or cheetahs. I will shit. never. Oh. Like that. That shit just. You, like, you, oh, pisses you're, me off. Like, what are you even? Like, and I, I go play. Go play a game. Go play a video game. Yeah. VR hunt. That should be the next way. way VR hunting. Yeah. Get them out of the real hunting. The, the the thing there is like like you said, and you understand the way that I understand that there's there's a certain hunting that that actually helps the environment, right? Yes. And people are just as outraged at that as they are to the killing of an endangered species. And the problem there is that these people, would, would they just like think about what it is that they're typing? They would understand that population control is a thing. And in, in farmers, there's this saying that, that a farmer would rather, you know, you say two, use two dollars to take care of a $10,000 loss. A two dollar bullet to kill something that's going to cost him and his family ten thousand dollars in crops, ten thousand dollars in whatever it might be. Yeah. And this is like population control is a thing. But when you see these people defending someone killing an elephant, someone killing a giraffe, someone killing a, a rhino, that's when you like draw the line. And you're like, I'm here, I'm here to help your stupidity no longer be a thing. Please allow me to explain. Yeah. Yeah. by talking to you like the stupid person that you are. <laughs> Please be offended because it's supposed to be offensive. Yeah. Please. Yeah. And every dumbass that comes to the, your aid can hop on the same stupid boat and go in the same people. Okay, so last thing, because mm -hmm. I have one that tilts me as well. <laughs> this, when you people say have... MW2 is not the best god. <laughs> well, no, because those, well, those, no, those are facts. Those those are are stupid, go on. And here we go on. People. Um, especially Pac-Man. Um, so, 
whenever it's like a, whenever it's a, a, an, in, an NBA game, an NFL game, an NHL game, something like that, a boxing match, like stick to gaming. When, no, whenever, whenever, whenever fans interfere with the player, and the player retaliates, and people defend the fan. Yeah. I I can't. Yeah. The the one. The, the one thing where the guy had just, he, he was in a professional NBA game. He'd just gotten um, uh, kicked out of the game. Ejected. Yeah, ejected. I, couldn't think, I was like, eliminated? Okay. That's all that came for you. He Delete just it. got ejected. And, and while he's walking off, there's this guy, and he's sitting there doing this, filming like this, like arm extension. Westbrook. Not, not like this. What, I don't think it Russell, was. Yeah, it was it Westbrook, was? yeah. Okay. Because I remember it was like a smaller guy. He did this. He was filming like this. And Westbrook was walking, or I guess it is Westbrook, yeah. walking yeah. away and just, just hits it out of his yeah. hand. And people were like, if he ever hit my phone out of my hand, yeah. I would be it. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah. You, you pay money to go watch these people, the best human beings. Yeah. Like, these aren't like, these aren't like just, it's not just a game. Like, yeah. these are the elite humans yeah. physically. Like, they could kill you. Yeah. And, and, you want to like in a, like in, a, in a moment a where you can, like, in, what is this? In, in a moment where you can understand how mad they are yeah. and you just like yeah just leave him alone you know he's pissed off let's not fuck around with him today you know what i'm saying like you get, and, and they feel it's okay to invade their yeah. space it's crazy, it's crazy what some drinks can do and, uh, no, well, and being a fan of the other team the, the, no well the, no he was the thing is that he was part of the oh, he was, was a fan of it oh. yeah the, the thing there too is that it happens in, in in gaming too when somebody talks to a player like you're trash and the player defends himself at, at Hex, oh, look how professional your player's being. You are being an asshole. I'm glad that he replied like that because usually he's very composed and doesn't. Yeah. Hector, real professional of a CEO to talk like that, I don't get, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a human first, okay? And my feelings <laughs> supersede the stupidity of some people. And if they, yeah. if, if they make me feel something, I'm gonna read. There's never ever gonna be a, 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 a time where, one, I don't defend my team, myself, or something that is clearly the right thing ever. And I think that's, ever. Why, that's why the the brawl, what is it, the rumble in the jungle, what it was, what's the, the most name? famous, one of the most famous sporting like mishaps ever, like the whole yeah. Detroit Pistons. Yeah, the Pistons and the. Uh, was it the Pacers? Pacers, yeah, Pacers Indiana yeah, yeah. Pacers. Yeah. That's why that that will always be like my go-to, like like. The fans don't. I don't. I feel like they just lose sight of what they're going to see, and so they go onto the court. There's like a huge Bill. There's like a, a in, like a very popular Bill Burr bit where he mm -hmm. just talks about. It. He's like, he's like, oh yeah. And he, he said, I've gone to sporting events forever, and they're just like, oh, uh, the, the the sporting guys are like, don't make me come up there. Don't make me come up there. And he's like, guess what? They went up there, <laughs> and it's just beating yeah. the shit out of fans that are just talking shit. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I if it's, if it's self-defense in any capacity, you get a pass from me, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As long as, I mean, I mean don't overdo it. Beat the shit out of someone, but don't, you know. That's not like self-defense, though. It's just like, because they're not like, they're not in any trouble. It's just, it, that's, that is the, like, the, the real life example of a internet troll. Is somebody that thinks that they are safe. It, 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 it can be in like road rage as well. But somebody that goes to a, uh, a, a, a professional event and thinks that they're safe because they're in the fa and they're in there in the fan like in the fucking crowd mm -hmm. jesus yeah like, my mind just it's blanked all, out happens. and they're just like uh you know thinking that they yelling. can interact yeah. with and with, they with don't what's think happening there's any consequences yeah. and it's like if you were on the floor and it's no longer yeah lebron you fucking it's it's more like yeah a like, beast yeah. yeah i've seen him like, in person you deserve anything a beast. anything that happens that that, that in that opportunity. That like a little bit reminds me of the other day when uh when Steph like hit a shot or whatever and started to like walk back and like walked into Kendrick Perkins and the yeah. Cavs bench yeah. and like so the half ended and like Steph just started saying something and like and then he stood up. Kendrick Perkins like literally stood up and was like this like because he's like that's yeah. his eye line on him. Yeah. But it, obviously it's a different yeah. thing. But that's what I imagine like when someone yeah. talks shit and then like the person it's like yeah. you really want to like, do this right on, now? Man. You really want to yeah. do this right now? Have you ever seen that clip of uh, of LeBron walking into the into the um, locker room and that lady says, "Go on, LeBron, you fucking bitch." Oh. Yeah. And he like turns around and everybody's like, "Whoa!" Yeah. And then it, it pans to the girl and she's like this little white girl, oh. and then it pans to him and he's like, the, "I'm just like people don't think like that, they don't use their." That's what that's what brains. we used to do in like wage like wagers and like kata. I would play with I'd be there with three pros and like some cracked out kids would would beat us. 
for like five dollars. Yeah. And then you'd be talking all this shit and be like, reach out for twenty. Like that's like one of Crim's most popular videos on his YouTube channel is literally we lost the first series because they used so many stuns and everything and like we were just messing around. Like yeah. map one we lost, we didn't have the class for it. Map two, I think we just we lost like six five. We challenge it back. You go from you go from I was teaming with, I think it was like me, Attach, and Scump. You go, I went from, you know, trolling Jack and chill out pros yeah. to multiple COD champs winner, Crim6, <laughs> the greatest of all time, Seth, and a trying hard sniping Attach. Yeah. Those kids not only got mopped, but it was the easiest money I've ever made in wagers in my life. I yeah. was like this. Like, we got done, it was great. No other tweets back. The best was when we were playing all of optic matches and, and, and Fuiz was playing. They were, you know, Fuiz, Fuiz is very talkative. Yeah. yeah. They would be like, five dollars, this would be like five thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, that was my favorite read is like five dollar chance, five thousand dollar chance. <laughs> Let's play for real money, he says. Uh, but yeah, anyway, to move on from the from the negative yeah. troll that is trying and I'm glad that we had the conversation because it, it feels good to vent and and yeah, you does. know with people that go through through the same thing. Uh, and, but, but, you know, to be clear, I will never personally ever, I mean, don't get out of pocket. I will never stop anybody from defending themselves when they are clearly just like walking down the street and somebody threw an egg or threw uh, a banana peel at them. Yeah. And that's what Twitter is. You tweet something and it goes through someone's timeline and somebody has to throw something yeah. at you. And if doesn't retaliate, good for him. But I'm never ever gonna be like, oh. And the people's like, oh yeah, real professional, Hex. Real oh, really? Well, I'll tell you one thing. You know, the, the good thing is that I don't have a boss, okay? So <laughs> who are you gonna tell? I, 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 the closest you're gonna get, complain to Jude about what I just said, okay? <laughs> That's the closest thing you're ever gonna get, because no one's gonna be like, she reply with a dog picture. <laughs> Everyone just calm down. <laughs> imagine, imagine somebody, you know, is like, hey, Hector, you, you can't do that. Watch this, watch this. I'm gonna go do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna at you now, okay? Anyway, but, but that's that. Um, we're going to E3 uh, next week, super excited. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll end it with this. What are you excited, most excited about for E3? Um, hopefully some more new stuff for the Switch to get announced because I'm really Ooh. starting to really enjoy my Switch. Fortnite. I got the, I got the Pro Controller coming in. Um, I've been playing a ton of uh, Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda, like it. But people say like, is the Switch worth it? First off, anything on the internet, someone says, is it worth it? It all depends on where you currently stand financially. Like, yeah, yeah. When someone asks me if a $15 skin is worth it in Fortnite, my $15 could be completely different to your $15, yeah, right? Exactly. If for good or for worse. Uh, and so for me right now, if you have extra spending money, you enjoy video games, and you're telling me you could afford a Switch and, and it won't be a cripple, you just want to treat yourself, you've been working hard, get a Switch, get Super Mario Odyssey, get Breath of the Wild, that right there is enough to justify, in my power. opinion, yeah. to yeah. buying a Switch, right, it, right there. When, when they ask me that, I'm like, would you pay? How much are you, how much are movie tickets now? Twenty bucks. Would you pay twenty dollars to watch two, two hours, hours of the movie. Avengers? Yeah. Yes, totally worth it to buy that because the amount of hours of entertainment you get out of Zelda alone, the amount of hours of frustration not being able to move the ball into that thing to pass that shrine, yeah, it's enough. Entertainment. That's where, I, that's, where my, that's, where, that's where my odyssey ended with that. Because I don't know how to get, I don't know how to move past something. If, no. if I encounter an obstacle, I don't walk around and then come back with the, I need to beat that obstacle. Oh, I'll beat the obstacle, but then I'll see the chest that is like the extra little added bit that I need to somehow reach. And if I don't reach that chest, I don't consider myself beating the shrine. That's no. where I've been at. So, looking for more news on that. Uh, hoping for an exciting, Xbox needs to have a really good conference, in my opinion. Uh, Do you they, think Halo 6 gets announced? I yes, I think, I think, I think it yeah, needs to because but, Xbox, like you said, now, needs something. But now at this point, uh, I'm in a very tough position because all the people that I was really excited for working at 343 have now left. Yeah. Bravo's gone. They're strong all, side's strong gone. Strong side's gone, yeah. Ghost they, has gone, Neighbor's gone. Are they all going to work on... No, work? They're, all, they're all in different areas. Damn. So like I think neighbor, I think neighbor wow. and Bravo said so they're kind of doing their own thing for a bit. Ghost Yami now is, works at Battlefield. Walshy is now at... Uh, I don't know if he ever was at 343, but he's working at a company called First Strike, it says on his Twitter. That's, How? That's um, what I thought. Okay, that's where I thought everybody would have been. Think about the impact that those Halo players that we just mentioned and how, how important they were to the, to the foundation of, 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 uh, of console esports. That still to this day, 10 to 15 years later, after they have come and gone, we're still talking about them in a podcast that's happening today. 
Props to those dudes. No, yeah. Props. Super, super props. It's crazy. Uh, they, they, their, 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 their legacy isn't known through their following. You know what I'm saying? Like, they might only have yeah. 5,000 yeah. followers, but, like, everyone knows who the they are. The people who exactly. are the industry yeah. that yeah. have the millions of followers know who they are. Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> it's, like if I, it's like if I made Ricky Gervais laugh, am I now the funniest person in the world because Ooh. I made the funniest person in the world laugh? That's, that's the example. What are you looking forward to? Um, just pretty much to just experience it all. You know, everybody always talks about E3, and I've, uh, I've been to PAX. Uh, I think I've been to a few other things, but I've never been to like E3, and I've never been to BlizzCon so, or TwitchCon. So I, those are the three that I eventually want to, uh, to experience. But E3 is probably the biggest one. I'm excited to see what, what more comes out with Call of Duty. I'm sure maybe we'll get like a taste of Blackout to see what, what happens there. I'm super That'd be excited, sick. super excited for Blackout. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, maybe switch stuff like you said. Hopefully, we get some more Pokemon. That's the uh, that's news. True. Yeah, because po Pokemon was announced for the Switch, mm -hmm. and then maybe some Smash characters. Yeah, I think we might have to film next week's podcast during E3 since we're all going to be gone the following week. Um, but I, I, I'm most most excited to see if uh, finally they announce Fortnite going to the Switch, which would then just it's game anyway. over for for everyone yeah. every other battle royale game because it's it's so inclusive to everyone that it's just crazy yeah. i'm gonna go have to buy a new switch because i gave one to a cousin of mine um because i got that ma i got that mad at zelda bro no <laughs> bullshit i got that mad at that shrine where it's like it's like a ball and then you have to like move it yeah. and then at the end of it you have to like kick it Flip up it. into the thing yeah i'm talking about empty apartment downtown dallas i'm talking about some hotel room somewhere i'm talking about on the plane going somewhere i couldn't do it i just said you know what stop being mad just put it away and then you'll be better but yeah those are the two things that i'm excited about blackout obviously and uh and fortnite being announced uh and i do want halo to be announced on, on xbox because the last thing i ever did on xbox was get uh, a, a reading of my body mass composition as i was as i was you know being measured uh by my personal trainer um but i need xbox to do something man please 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 yeah. do something dude think of think Maybe of all the exclusives that playstation has man it is we need it a is good a story list. game as well. A good story game on Xbox, like, has no, it's, it's a, it, it is. It, it, I don't think ever in the console battle history has it been this one-sided in regard. Yeah. And I love Xbox, and I have that, a yeah. connections there. Same. It's nothing, but, I'm with but you. it is the truth. Yeah. Right now, the, the exclusives for PlayStation are unreal. Yeah. The Last of Us 2 hasn't even come out yet. That game's gonna be phenomenal. I can't. I'm. I can't wait for that game. Dude. Yeah. I gotta get back into 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 playing video games and making videos the way that I used to because I, I've I've missed out on a lot of good games that I norm, normally wouldn't play because I'm either if I'm not if if what I'm doing isn't helping you know another project that I just don't don't touch it because I yeah. feel like it's selfish with me being my time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, I'm looking. I, I, Xbox needs to step up. What? Why? Why hasn't it gone back? Why hasn't Call of Duty gone back to Xbox? It was three years, three years, three years, and right now we're on our fourth or fifth year with PlayStation. Or is this the fourth year this with PlayStation? Uh, yeah, I think this will be the fourth year. I mean, I think it just comes okay. down to the value they see in it or whatever. I mean, it's yeah, crazy. Well, I think it's in, in that case you got to think like three or three or three year. Has it been three year contracts this whole time? And has instead of going back to Xbox. You know, uh, they, they just another, chose to renew. They got another three-year contract to renew. with yeah. with PlayStation, which would be nuts. I have. I don't even know. I don't. I don't own a Scorpio. Is that what is it? A Scorpion? Is that is that out yet? Well, the, the Project Scorpio is the Xbox One X. Okay. So that's the 4K one. I don't, um, Project I don't have Scorpio it. is just the that was the project name they used for it, and it took so, people loved it so much that they literally just branded the Xbox One X as like an edition of the Project Scorpio edition with cool words on it and stuff. Awesome. All right, uh, I think we're gonna end it right there. If you guys are excited for anything from E3, please be sure to leave the comments of what it is that, it, that you're looking forward to. If you're gonna be attending E3, it won't matter because this will be after, but we're gonna be or there doing a meetup. When you watch this, let us know what you like most about the announcements. Okay. Because it's Wednesday and the announcements yes. happen over the weekend. Okay, so. yeah, so so far, tell us what's good. We'll see you on the next one. Mexico forever.